sentimental and technical video for the Quasi TV service for the 28th of May 2021. We've got an important inflation data out in the US and last time that did occur we had some big moves. So it makes me think that it's going to repeat and obviously inflation is like the buzzword right now so everyone is going to be watching it so then we're going to see some pretty wild moves um, I think. If you can just watch a monitor that's what I would recommend. You can see how pretty unpredictable the bubbles are right now. Um, they're all performing well, hence the size, and they're all bunched up. And the Kiwi is the strong buy, but the bubble's small. So uh, this is looking like a reversal, and there's a lot of uh, potential volatility here. Um, uh, really, you know, they should be bunched up like this. They should be like spaced around the chart, but there's a lot of indecision. And... Um, I don't know. I don't like the look of the yen bubble being so extreme as well. So just be careful. There's the weekly bubbles. Looks a bit larger. Um, but yeah, this is the strong buy section. And this is the strong sell section. And really, these um, safe havens, these two, shouldn't really be with these risk proxy currencies. So something's gonna. there's going to be quite a violent move, I think, today. Um, we'll go to... AJ, actually, no, just to look at gold uh, because it's been it's been a bit of a pickle. Admittedly, we've got a bearish harmonic, um, but we've got monthly resistance three above, and we're broken the pitchfork. Um, so the SLC below for gold is eighteen eighty eight, and the one above is eighteen ninety eight. So there's only ten dollars in between. It could potentially get both. Um, we took the one above yesterday, and hence why the reason why it's a lot smaller. And uh, so, yeah, it could just be quite a very choppy day, I think. So it was quite a bit larger yesterday. It was over 1%. It's now 0.79. So some liquidity has been taken out of the market. So it may makes me think maybe this one below first. And then we'll have to wait and see. So um, we are a sell. And so the fact it's going up means that these guys are getting paid um, like the dumb money in speech marks. Uh, they're not necessarily always dumb. They can be quite astute. Um, so we have to remember to keep fundamentals and technical at the forefront as well. Don't necessarily rely completely on the sentiment because in this case, this is a great example of uh, price going up, yet sentimentally it's a sell. So um, normally it's pretty pretty good, but there is often the time when things like uh, gold, they're fundamental drivers. Okay, so it's really important to note um, let's go to AJ. I'm going to sit through these today. I won't talk too long. So there's a good important level there for AJ, 85.01. And remember what I was saying about the yen bubble as well. Um, we can't really move any further. So that's been cornered. So um, it could be just having like a, you know, like a knee jerk reaction, like you can see. So that's a level of, of interest. The SLC is, um, well, it's dead on. MR1 85.20, one below is 83.90. We are a buy, um, it's pretty sideways. Uh, yes, yeah, so I don't know, I think we might, we might be falling here. I think the yen bubble is going to be um, having like a reaction, sentimental reaction. AU, so there's some pretty big moves. Um, interesting. SSC is 77.60 and um, 76.69. We are a buy, but it's very close to 50.50. And also the Aussie bubble is in that huddled, bunched up um, quadrant. Uh, so yeah, it's fairly bearish candle. It's, you know, it's got some pretty uh, big volume there, I'd imagine. Um, EA, um, 158.25 and 157.19. Uh, buy and it's sideways. A lot of these are sideways, you'll note. EU, um, looks like we're going to get this one, 12170 and 12265. We are a buy, uh, but they went long, so it's worth noting there. If you remember my video from oh, pretty much all of the week, I did say that they've been going long um, up here, so um, yeah. I think we might be getting that stop loss cluster. Keep an eye on 12144. If we break that, we're going to break the shift channel and we'll get to 12132. Below that, we could maybe even target down here, but 
who's to say what's going to happen? We've got NFP next week, don't forget, as well. GU, um, buy, and uh, this would agree with the high level because they sold it. So uh, the fact it's fallen means it's going to be payday for these guys here. Uh, but it can happen, like in the case of gold. So MR2 would be a level. If if I was trading this, I might short below 14169 um, and have a, top, like a tight stop there, um, like 10 pips above. Um, so, yeah, it could be ignoring the sentiment or we just simply have a little retracement. You know, it's, we're still like mega bullish because the monthly pivot is all the way down here. Like there, so it's, it's very strong. And you, uh, there's your bearish ABCD. That's the RBNZ move, and it looks like well, it, well, we knew it took a lot of stops out. It's quite size is still quite large, seventy three nineteen. I'm gonna take an SLC out below seventy two sixty. We just took it out. You can see there, and so by getting the SLC indicators, you can see the size, and where the location as well. And if it gets a lot smaller, then we can expect a bounce. If it does simply stays the same size or increases, <laughs> they'll, they'll hunt those stops. Um, I'm going to get rid of that line. Uh, so, yeah, we technically uh, bearish, ABCD, sentimentally a buy, it has a mismatch. Uh, e, um, EJ, MR2, at, um, 13391, SLC, a stop loss cluster. Is it one three four ten? Oh god, one three three seven four buy and they sold it. So if it does fall, it's gonna mean payday for these guys. Okay. Pound gen, a bit bunched up there. Let me see. Okay. Uh wow the stop loss clusters so far. One five three fifty. Wow. <laughs> uh the one above is one five six ten. Uh we're a buy and they sold it there. So, um, yeah, it's a bit tricky. I don't like the fact that it's so wide, that stop. It's quite worrying. Um, dolly, uh, yen. So this is, um, went out to the technical channel yesterday and we had a nice break. And uh, so, you know, we, we rallied off that break. The SLC above is at 110. And uh, 109.67, we are a buy and they sold it. So that, that would agree with that move. So this is actually agreeing. Um, yeah, so a bit tricky. Let me see if I can find that pitchfork. Oh, okay. It's obviously changed now. The good thing about the Zoop indicator, it, it evolves, which is really cool. Um, but we had a descending pitchfork, so obviously that negated. So we're in ascending pitchfork now, as you can see, which is uh, quite bullish. Pending that we hold in that pitchfork. Dollar CAD. See, um, oh, where are we? So we did hold uh, monthly support too, like I was saying, 12013, SSC above 12145 and 12048. This could move a lot as well because it could be like a battle of the central banks, especially if like we get some Fed speech after the inflation data, because we know that the Bank of Canada are quite hawkish. So it all depends what the Fed speak, you know, what they say. Um, we are a sell. Um, they went long, so that would, that would be that move there. Um, but we really should be going up because we are. It would mean that these guys get paid, so it's a bit of a tricky one. Dollar Swiss is doing quite well. Monthly support one is eighty nine eighty two. So um, if we hold above that, it could be fairly bullish. Uh, the SSC above is at ninety ten, and one below is eighty nine nineteen. We're a sell. Technically, we might be all right above uh, MS1. Bullish ABCD, ABCD, uh, which is like that. So, um, is if this holds true, we'll have a harmonic that will look like this potentially, and that would be the D, where the D would be sell. See uh, that potential scenario. D has to be higher than that in order for it, for it to be, um, you know, to complete. Or we could get a dragon, I'm thinking, maybe. No, we wouldn't have a dragon. Oh, yeah, so a potential scenario is that we can rally, potentially, if this bullish ABCD holds, and it will ignore the sentiment. So, we have to, yeah, it's a bit of a tricky one. 
Um, Euro pound because um, it was requested in the technical channel. So I think potentially, um, assuming that this holds 85.84, hey, we might do this, and then we might we might do this, and then we might do this. But we're below monthly pivot, so we're technically bearish. And you'd know the sentiment as well by looking at the spreadsheet. So I'm going to wrap up now. Um, see how we go. I'm going to I'm hedged on this now. I was actually fully long. And now I, I can't be because this is my level. 38496. Um, so we're 36929. If we go above, I'll release my hedge at a loss. I think it could fall to 33407, maybe. Uh, so it's going to be a big mover today, especially the inflation data. We it could be risk on, or it could be like massively risk off. Just or just you know, just trade carefully. So all you can do is like your risk management. That's the only thing you can control. All right. So keep your stops nice and tight. And remember, there's no harm in just watching as well. I'm just going to be watching. Um, not a problem. And like I said, I'm hedged on uh, Bitcoin now, which is quite frustrating. I, I did want it to rally, but. There's that shift channel support and it didn't hold. So that's the reason I'm, I'm actually hedged. I'm in quite good profit on that move, but we'll see what happens. Have a good day, guys, and I'll speak to you soon. Oh, we've got bank holiday Monday in America and UK. So I'm going to be taking it easy on Monday because there isn't really much point in trading because it's going to be very, very quiet in the US session. So um, I'll speak to you guys later. Have a good day.